Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to craft Potent Predator Bait in Red Dead Redemption 2. And when I say how to craft, I mean where's the best place to go to get yourself the Gritty Fish and the Blackberries all in one go. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Blackberry bush that's here behind me. Let me show you where I am on the map, of course, and I am along the Dakota River. So if you come from the top of the of like the twist in the Dakota River, it's around the first twist along the road. Come to a little kink in the road here, and that is probably where you want to go ahead and tag. So basically right here where I am, put a tag on it, and you will find yourself the Blackberries in this area. And it is obviously a bush. And then we're going to go ahead and fish in this river right here, for gritty fish, which is the most important thing, like you get yourself gritty fish and not flaky fish because there's no point. The flaky fish is no good. You can't make it with a flaky fish. As another alternative location to do this, I have set it over here in my favorite hunting spot. It also has blackberries over here in my favorite hunting spot, right around this general area. I don't know the exact location, but I know it is along the like where that tag is. And then you can head down to the Owenjila River to do yourself some fishing to get yourself some gritty fish if you want to go hunting, for instance, cougar are actually in this area as well anyway so let's get into it anyway let's go ahead and get ourselves the blackberries here to start us off so we're gonna go ahead and pick don't eat whatever you do i made that mistake in the past and we get ourselves blackberries as you can see so now we've got the blackberries we're gonna head down to the river and try and get ourselves some gritty fish i have actually just camped to see if they they would grow back overnight kind of thing. I don't know what the time limit is before you can come and pick the same bush again. So we may try and camp again at the end of this to see if we can actually get them to respawn for a second time. So when you come down to the river, obviously you want to just get your rod out. There we go. No, we're not, we weren't close enough to get the rod out first time. There we go. Get the rod out. Start off with that and put some bait on the end. So after trying a few areas, guys, this is where I suggest you go and fish. I'll go to the map and show you where I am now. As you can see, I'm on the turn. There's a little cut in here where the water comes in, and I'm right at the end of it here. I tried a few places up the river towards where we found the blackberry, which was this area here. And I feel like this is probably the best place. You get a lot more water here, and I just seem to get more fish here. I've got about three or four fish in the satchel now from trying the areas um, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to try first with uh, some crickets, guys, because the lures haven't been working so well for me. So I'm going to try some crickets and see what we can get, see if we can get ourselves a gritty fish. One thing I would say is I'm definitely no pro when it comes to fishing. It's probably one of the things I've done least on the game. So, you know, there may be people out there that you want to go and look for for fishing other than me, because I am definitely someone who is probably quite a, quite a noob when it comes to the fishing side of Red Dead. I've only ever fished for gritty fish. So that I can actually do the challenge. There's actually a fish right by us down here. Alright, so we have got something here, guys. So we're going to go and reel this one in. Hopefully it's a gritty fish. Because I've caught like a lot of fish that are not gritty. So hopefully this time we do get a gritty fish. And it looks like it might be, to be honest with you. I think this is a gritty fish. I'm, that's me guessing, really, though. Um... Yeah, oily, gritty fish. Awesome, guys. So that's this is probably where you want to come and do the fishing. I've used crickets. Just use anything, in my opinion, from what I do that says you that is for rivers just to give you that extra little boost. You can use any bait, really, and get a fish, but it's better to use the ones that are, like, suggested for rivers or if you're in a lake, a lake, or in a swamp, a swamp kind of thing. Not going to lie, I absolutely hate fishing on the game. I find it so boring. Um, but I'm glad I've got that out of the way and I've got is the gritty fish there. And then the next thing you want to do is go to your satchel. You're going to want to break down the fish then. So you can see we caught a few fish here. So let's break it down. And once you've broke it down, you want to go and rest them, which is to hold the triangle button to rest and go onto one knee. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go to craft and go over to hunting. And you see potent predator bait will be there as an option then to craft. So we're going to go and craft that now. Lovely. So we've got ourselves a potent predator bait there now out of the way. Just looking at that raccoon there. I was like, what is that coming into my screen there? It's a raccoon. And the last thing I'm going to do before heading out is I'm going to check, well, before camping, I'm going to check if the blackberry is now respawned, maybe, hopefully. You know, just, just kind of like wondering how long it takes for something to respawn. So we'll check it now. See if it's respawned. It has not respawned. So I'm going to camp one more time. And we're going to see if it's respawned now overnight while we're camping. We'll sleep as long as we can until morning. And we'll check just to see. This will be two days as well, which is worth noting that we have actually camped now for two days. So maybe it is 48 hours before it respawns. 
which would be just a nice little bit of information to end on to find out whether it comes back in two days or not. So I'll head back down there now and let you guys know. So no, it has not actually come back in 48 hours, which is a shame. I was hoping it will have come back within about 48 hours of um, time being out of the area. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It hasn't come back yet. Maybe you have to actually leave the area before it will go back and respawn in the game. Anyway, I'm going to leave that one there, guys. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always. And take it easy.